everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and I will be right back with local yarn shop tour number three which is at Stash, a place for yarn but in Tampa this time and then I'll show you some fun stuff from Stash as well as doing Let's Talk Alpaca after that. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and we have a bunch of stuff to go over just as we do on Mondays now. Uh, so we'll get into it in um, one second. But first I wanted to welcome all of our new subscribers and of course welcome everyone else back. Thank you so incredibly much for your continued support and for watching my videos and really interacting now and commenting, which Hopefully, if I remember, I am going to kind of let you in on something like I did at the end of Wednesday's video, but at the end of this one, about, yeah. So anyway, make sure to stay tuned and watch the whole thing from start to finish, just saying. I mean, it's nothing major. It's just filling you in on something, but anyway. So if you are new, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to that. And if you all would be willing to give this video a thumbs up as well as comment and share, that would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I know so many of you do all of that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. I really do appreciate it. Okay. So as I mentioned, hold on, I need to take a sip out of my um, fun cup and I'll show you what it says in a second. Except it keeps taking my lipstick off, but it says classy, sassy, and a bit smart assy. So totally me. And this was from Catherine with Cat's Eye Catchers. Um, we are very good friends and she knows me all too well because we are almost identical in like almost every aspect. But anyway, so I just had to share that. Um, but today we are doing local yarn shop tour number three. I did just do my sixth one this past Saturday with my mom and it was a lot of fun too. So I'm really enjoying this, doing the research for this series because it's been a lot of fun and I'm meeting a lot of great people. For instance, Jose, who is the owner of Stash, both in St. Pete and Tampa, and Dot, who I got to meet when I did the tour at the Stash in Tampa. She is awesome. She's the one who runs that location and is very knowledgeable, very helpful. But yet we'll give you your space just like Jose in, in St. Pete if you are just wanting to kind of do your own thing, which is awesome and, you know, of course appreciated because sometimes people don't like having somebody hanging over you all the time. They are absolutely amazing and I kind of felt bad because I now, I know now if I want to call Jose on a Monday that he's closed, but I also know that they are very accommodating and will answer the phone and or even come to the store if you're needing something even on a day off or before or after business hours, which is awesome. So I felt bad, but I really needed to just confirm a couple of things with him because I forgot to do it over the weekend. And, you know, he answered the phone and so absolutely willing to help me in any way that he can and that is awesome and he confirmed some things and it seems like Tampa runs the same way he does but I will go over a couple of those things with you guys I will give you the the Tampa side of the business card so if you guys want it oops let me get off the writing if you guys want to do a screenshot of it I love their logo but it is a stash a place for yarn beautiful shop again wonderful customer service, wonderful relate. I love the relationships I've built. And honestly, I'm tempted to ask Jose if he ever like needs help at a store to let me know. Shh, I didn't say that. I'm just kidding. Jose is going to be watching this. So <laughs> anyway, um, but let's get on to the info so that I can go ahead and share the tour with you. So um, this is, like the business card says, this is the Tampa location of Stash, which is on West Shore Boulevard. And that means I have three local yarn shops within like maybe a 30 minute drive. I mean, the St. Pete, it's only because St. Pete doesn't really have like an expressway to it and Tampa does, but then the traffic can kind of get crazy. But my local yarn shop creativity is three miles away from me roughly. So literally around the block. And then I have both stashes within maybe a 30 minute drive. What? 
I am so incredibly lucky and very grateful to have three amazing shops around me. Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned, Dot is who runs the Tampa location of Stash. Jose is the owner of both. Um, but information about the store, if they are closed, just like the St. Pete Stash, Dot lives like a mile and a half, mile, mile and a half or something roughly like that from the location in Tampa. So if they're closed, but you need to get in for whatever reason, you are in town and you're about to leave and, oh my gosh, I forgot something, you can call. Or if, you know, it's before or after hours and you need to pick something up, obviously I'm not supporting calling them in the middle of the night and saying I need yarn. Absolutely not. But if it's within at a reasonable time and if they are available they will come to the store and let you in depending on you know the situation of course it's if they are available it's not you know don't don't mess with them like on the holidays and stuff like that but you all are awesome so i know you wouldn't do that but the same goes for dot in tampa she if you need to get in for whatever reason you can call her if she's available she can stop by the store to let you in uh they okay they do normally do classes, but right now with everything going on, um, they're not necessarily doing group classes, but they are doing private classes uh, because people are itching to get back to knitting. And, and they, I believe their classes are all knitting, but people are itching to get back to that. So they will do private classes. So I think that's awesome. That is available. You need to speak to them as far as prices and that kind of a thing. Um, also, if you are you know like needing help on something really quick like you you dropped a stitch or something simple and they help you they're willing to do that obviously if it's something a little bit more in depth you know there may be a, a small fine to, or fine a small fee to that fine sounds so negative a small fee <laughs> to that but they are willing to help if if need be um if you're local they have free delivery what so if you're like somewhere within the vicinity of the Tampa stash and or St. Pete stash, but this, we're talking about Tampa now, and you're within like a close proximity, I don't know what like the mileage distance is, like the requirement or anything, but if you're local to there, free delivery. What? That is amazing. They will deliver your yarn to your house. That's just awesome. Obviously, you have to pay for it, <laughs> but um, they also have curbside pickup. You can um, shop online. Also, they do do they do ship domestically and to Canada. Domestic shipping is a flat rate of five dollars, but it's free with any orders over a hundred dollars domestically. Uh, but they will ship to Canada as well. So I do love that, and I love that local yarn shops are getting more into that because right now that's really one of the ways that it's going to help them out because. People at times, they may not be, you know, they may not feel comfortable going out or, you know, just whatever the situation is this way, they can still get some business and customers that are longtime customers or, or new customers can get whatever it is that they are interested in. So I love that. And that's awesome. So that is basically the gist. There is more information. If you want to go online, feel free. The link to their shop will be in the description. Blah, excuse me the description box below as well as in the pinned comments so if um you know you want to check anything else out or if i may have missed something or you i didn't um answer something feel free to go and check it out yourself now one thing i have been adding is information about um whether or not these stores are handicap accessible i completely forgot to ask jose about that because the way i went in there were some steps, but I believe there could possibly be a ramp at the end of one of the sides to this little shopping um, shopping center that has a couple of stores in it. But don't quote me on that. Uh, I will check it out and I will go ahead and put it right here, but I just wanted to let you know I do still need to check into that, and but it'll be on the screen for you. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go on to the tour. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you a couple of fun things from there, <laughs> of course. And if you guys remember how I said in one of my recent videos that I wanted to like kind of put the stuff that's in this bit, um, cubby down here. Well, I had to like really squeeze 
things from in this cubby. I put a couple in here and I squeeze the rest in here with whatever was um, down there already, which were like some of the month, uh, yarn of the month clubs. And so far, everything in here are from either the local yarn shops or the small businesses I've shared with you. There's not much room left, is there? <laughs> this could get a little problematic. So we're going to see what's going to happen from that point forward because the rest of these um, six cubbies are full. Yeah. And then the ones down below are all ones that, are, you know, are wrapped in plastic or whatever because, I mean, I do have Miley and her fur does get everywhere. And until I actually fix it where I put a sheet over it or like a whatever. But yeah, so that's going to be interesting. That's so far just from the series I started. Um, yeah. And remember... You guys are going to always want to make sure to answer on Monday and Wednesday's videos what your favorite aspect of the store was or whether it's a brand, a color, a, or whatever caught your attention. And on Wednesdays, which was your favorite small business because you never know when there may be a surprise giveaway like I just recently did last week. And we got some awesome stuff. I'm just, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour and I will be right back. Okay, so welcome back everyone. As I mentioned, we are at Stash, a place for yarn, but in Tampa. It's a beautiful location. Inside is um, fabulous, as I'm sure you can imagine. We're gonna go through there. Uh, it is by the same owner, Jose, who owns uh, the Stash in St. Pete. Uh, I think we briefly met him in the video, but uh, he is not here today. So I'm just going to go and walk you through inside. I already did um, my tour. So we're going to go inside and uh, yeah, I'll show you all their wonderful, wonderfulness. <laughs> and um, yeah, they have a lot of space in there, surprisingly enough. But all right, so I'm going to flip you guys, flip you guys around and we're going to go inside. All right, hold on a second. Okay, didn't mean to give you a... Uh, whiplash there but that's stash a place for yarn which is awesome love the name look at oh i love this tree i mean isn't that awesome you all know i'm all about bling whoa sorry so this is i'll keep you guys behind it so <laughs> all right so their melabrigo is on that opposite wall and then they have a couple other ones there but Look at all this awesome, awesome stuff. Oh yeah, look, they have the same same uh, shawl they had at the other one. This is like a sail thing, um, which is kind of cool. This is that unique, uh, unique yarns that I showed you guys at the other one. That's that unique fingering. That is the colorway that that shawl is made out of, except with black. So they've got all kinds of fun things of course Santa sorry if I'm going too fast um, this is absolutely beautiful I love this it's blue sky alpaca silk it's 50% alpaca 50% silk and let me tell you it's like butter I mean I'm not kidding you amazingly soft and uh, let's see this is some of the, there's some more stay than DK weights over here. Um, we saw this one at the St. Pete one. This is awesome. This is by Sardar, which I love them. It's snugly, double knitting, and this is so soft. It's a uh, 55 nylon, 55, wait, 55 nylon, 45 acrylic. It's so ridiculously soft and beautiful. Sorry, trying to get that back in there. Some notions. Awesome. Nothing behind me. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a mandala kind of sort of. A beautiful shawl. We've got some more stuff over here. My hair is like all over the place, people. This is Simplicity, I think. Yeah, by Hiku. It's beautiful. It's a bit brighter on camera than it is in real life, but stunning stuff. Here is that other brand I was talking or showed you guys that the other one, Mad Tosh. 
This is beautiful. I'm telling you. It's 100% superwash merino. Barbara deserved better. <laughs> I love it. It's so soft. I mean, this is so ridiculously soft. It's not funny. Okay, maybe it's funny. I don't know. It depends. This is fun. Um, okay, so then back here, I'm guessing this, yeah, this is a class, classroom. We've got some pictures on the wall, obviously, water cooler, break room back there. Um, oh, geez. I hope I looked okay right there. Oh, my gosh, my hair was everywhere. People ignore me. Um, well, that, I just noticed him, Frankenstein, that's too cool. Anyway, Shibui. You all know I'm obsessed with Shibui. The Lunar is really pretty. And look, this is Rowan. I'm upset. I love Rowan too. This is Kid Silk. It's Kid Mohair and Silk. So pretty. Awesomeness. Awesome sauce. Look, this is by Barocco. But, uh, is it Ariel? Yeah. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, so stunning. Love the color. This is, I think, all Barocco. Almost all Barocco, I believe. Actually, maybe all Barocco. This is really pretty. Not that one. This color. Right there. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? More Christmas trees. Yay. All right. So they have some other... If you look at that little sweater. So cute. Some more shawls and scarves. And here you can kind of sit back and relax and just socialize well either if you're a family that live together or socially distanced right now but uh look at the shawls now this this not this entire wall but all of that back there is fiber seed this is um what is it sunshine yeah sunshine dye works this is um somebody in st pete and in deerfield beach florida beautiful beautiful colors this is all fiber seed this is their sprout decay look at this color is this not amazing um it's 510 yards which is awesome uh 100 no washable american merino wool with 10 percent nylon and it's soft it's uh, it's not like butter but it's soft that one's kind of cool i bet parts of this would glow in a black light uh oh mints 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 anybody okay i don't know that any of you guys know this about me but oh this whole wall is in fiber seed i forgot that's this part this right here is knit wise fibers i think they may also be in florida i can't remember but this is soft right there and this is fat bunny yarn this is hand dyed in clear water florida and i guess the lady is very very nice um this is sorry i guess i should put in camera 100 percent silk lace weight i always expect silk to be like silky soft it is definitely beautifully soft but at 100 percent silk i think it's more of a like a raw silk look at that isn't that beautiful and look at the little booties so cute on uh, this beautiful this one is 100 percent cleaner cotton quince and company this is 100 percent um li organic linen it's chain spun you see that beautiful i would think linen would be like butter soft it is soft i mean it's smooth but as far as being like butter not quite but it's gorgeous 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 and then this is also fiber seed and she was explaining because this is 20 percent off she was explaining that with she she changed um fiber companies because this is supposed to be dk but it's actually closer to fingering weight and so she changed um manufacturers so that she can get a more true dk so because this is older stock and not like a true DK weight, they went ahead and discounted it. Um, look at all these shawls and stuff. Beautiful. I mean, this is beautiful work. Now, this is all knit. They all knit in here. So, um, when I told her, you know, I crochet, 
she's like that's fine that's what you love that's what you you know I'm like I can knit but I think that scarf is stunning um but oftentimes I tell you guys when I walk into local yarn shops and I tell them I crochet with this yarn they're like you do know you should knit because you use less yarn I'm like yeah I know but that's just me summer silk this is fun this is also a chain spun I don't know if you can see that it's beautiful this is fun well I hope I'm not giving you guys like whiplash this alpine luxe fur effect yarn is so soft do you see that it's like ugh, playing with like not quite rabbit fur but like I don't know they also have these unique sock sets which are cool this is when you knit this is like what they come up come out as or like that's cool is that cool you get you get what you need to work two socks at a time but anyway so this is this is this <laughs> um ooh, what does that say welcome to stash follow us flash sale oh cool anyway so let me know what you think if you have any questions let me know i gotta show you this you probably saw it already but look at that is that not adorable so cute earth locally hand dyed myrna's cardigan so beautiful anyway if you guys have any questions or if you want more information on anything you saw let me know in the comment section below and um if i don't know the answer i will get the answer and uh ooh, look here's a kit merino gradient that's actually a pretty good price 100 percent extra fine super fresh super fresh merino oh very cool i wish it was brighter colors for, you know you know me there's this one also it's kind of cool anyway like i was saying if you guys have any questions let me know Ooh, guys i keep finding new stuff Look at that set. Baby gradient blanket. That's beautiful, except it's knit. But they've got the pink. They've got the blue. That's really pretty. And the beige. Anyway, like I was saying, again, if you have any questions or if you saw something and you want to get more information about it, let me know in the comment section below. And, uh... If I don't know the answer, I will certainly get it for you. S let's see. I spy with my little eye. Um, yeah, something I'm going to be hitting in a second. <laughs> okay, guys. So I will see you, well, in a second for you because I'm going to be going into some fibers in a second. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Um, and yeah. We'll still have a couple more. That's kind of cool. That right there. Anyway, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, so welcome back. What'd you think? I love it, right? I mean, they have a great selection of um, different yarns, local dyers, just everything. And I love the samples that they have. Um, yeah, just... It's awesome. And I got to tell you, I absolutely love working with everyone. Um, Jose is awesome. Dot is awesome. Uh, Dot was so incredibly helpful that day. And, you know, I come in and I'm like, I'm Natalie. I'm going to be doing the tour. And she's like, oh, yeah, I heard about that. And, you know, welcome. Come on in. You know, no problem. Have fun, etc. And it really was a lot of fun. Not only am I getting exposed to new yarns or new dyers and new companies, but I'm getting exposed to a lot of new people. And I've got to tell you, I am having such an amazing time meeting all these wonderful people. I mean, everybody has been so nice and so welcoming and so helpful. I mean, everything. It's just been awesome and a really great experience, not to mention the fact that, you know, we've we've my mom and I have been able to experience some you know areas that we've never been to before and stuff but anyway we get on to that with other um with other uh tours and stuff 
but I've been really self-conscious about um, something and I asked my mom if I should like put my hair halfway up or not, but um, I've decided to just go ahead and proudly sport the Pepe Le Pew look <laughs> until I can get my hair done again. You all know that I am more salt than pepper. And um, yeah, so I apologize if anybody has noticed it. Well, actually, I've had a couple of people that are close to me um, joke with me about it privately, but... And it was really in a in a joking manner. I mean, in a in a like a fun manner, not you know something negative. But I just had to, um, yeah, let you know I've decided to sport that look. <laughs> Maybe it'll be something new down the runway. You never know, right? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and share some fun stuff that's going to be added to that cubby, which is going to make it very difficult to fit much of anything else in. And honestly, I think, yeah, this, this pink and these three little ones are all from Stash St. Pete. Now, these are going to be from Stash Tampa. Yeah, my handy dandy little bag. <laughs> but anyway, um, these two were actually, it, it was part of where I showed you there was, um, there was 20% off of the fiber seed because it's supposed to be DK weight, but it's closer to fingering weight. And um, the fiber seed creator was switching manufacturers for that reason. Well, check these two out. Aren't they beautiful and bright, as you guys know I love, but so beautiful and I just, I love that there are these like lime, like really bright lime green like spots. Plus there is some speckling. Can you see that? Which you all know I'm in, I love speckling. So I mean there's speckling all over the place. Uh, but love this colorway. I will tell you about it. It's Fiber Seed. It's Sprout Decay, which I can see, it's, it's a thick fingering or thin DK, but I can see where it is that she's coming from. Um, this is 90% merino wool superwash, 10% nylon. There's 250 yards. Uh, so as far as like the for 100 grams, so that's pretty typical for a DK weight. But I still think it's closer to yeah. Anyway, so let's see. Uh, machine wash gentle, dry flat. It's measured under tension. The fiber seed is from Tampa, Florida. Okay, so, and it's thefiberseed.com. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention that. I've been putting only the links to the shops. I may also put the links, because I did have a couple people ask me for the links to the directly to the yarn companies. So I'm going, I mean, obviously these videos, the Monday videos are designed to support the local yarn shops. And the fact that you can actually shop anywhere around the country and at with some of them around the world and still support the particular yarn shops that I'm sharing with you, that's one of the things that is, that's what Mondays are about, is supporting the local yarn shop. But I know a couple of people were wanting to have links to the directly to the businesses, but I will make sure to list the brands i'm going to go back to the other videos and i will make sure to update the description box as well as um the probably the pin comments i may leave the pin comments with just the local yarn shop links but i'll go ahead and update the description box with the different brands of yarns that i have shared with you all right so we've got these two and then I think I'll show this one next. This is another local yarn dyer, and I, I mentioned it in the video. This is Fat Bunny Yarn, hand dye in Clearwater, Florida, which is like right up the street. Well, kind of, sort of, a little bit. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You all know I love purple. Blue's number one, and then pink and purple are right there with number two. Well, really, sharing number two. But there's also, again, some sp um, speckling. So I absolutely love it. It is, okay, sorry, I forgot to tell you. This is soft when you're actually feeling the actual strands. 
And I mean, it's pretty squishy too, but this is like squishy and like fluffy soft. Um, this is Lucky Sock Base. It's 465 yards to 100 grams, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, hand wash, cold, dry, flat. And the colorway is aubergine. Aubergine? Aubergine? I can't remember how that's pronounced, but um, super washed yarns are designed not only not only do dyers love them because it absorbs dye better than in its natural state but it's because people like the fact that they can wash it however personally if i'm going to be hand making something with any of these yarns i would want to hand wash them and lay them flat to dry just simply for longevity purposes but you know they are designed where you can but this one is suggests hand washing and then one more just in case you didn't hear that. I love this one. <laughs> it's actually the same brand as that one. Um, this is Mad Tosh hand dyed yarns. They were, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love this pink. It's for the most part tonal. I mean, there are really lighter parts like right there, uh, but it's absolutely stunning. This is so squishy, oh, soft. It's like butter. Okay, not quite like butter, but it's it's like right there. Um, the, the colorway of this one is Barbara Deserved Better. And I think I may have even picked this up in the video. But it's Tosh Merino Light, 100% Superwash Merino Wool. It's fingering weight, 420 yards to 100, um, 100 grams. And crochet hook size is a b1 to e4 or 2.25 to 3.5 millimeter um it's the super fine because it's fingering weight number one dyed by hand in texas from wool ethically sourced in south africa and it says please take care and use a gentle cleanser designed for wool garments each hand each hand dyed skein is unique alternate skeins every two rows if using more than one which i told you guys even when i'm using more than one hank that's in the same dye lot or very similar no two hand dyed hanks of yarn are going to be the same it doesn't matter it's just it's not they're going to be very similar they can be very similar but they're not going to be identical i very often unless there's like a striking difference between hanks i actually like the subtle differences between them versus mixing them every two or changing it every two row two three five whatever rows I oftentimes like the slight difference that you see between Hanks. Um, again, unless it's a drastic difference. But anyway, so, and even then, I like to go mainly the one Hank, and then I may alternate a little bit and then finish with the drastically different Hank. Does that make sense? Uh, but anyway, love, love, love all of these so beautiful and so springy and fun so anyway wanted to share that with you these are going to go into that cubby and probably take up like um almost the rest of the room <laughs> but i may have to end up squishing them like i did i mean there's so much in here you have no idea but they're like squished in there like they know each other so well in that little cubby yeah who knows maybe i'll have they'll have some babies and i'll get some new yarn coming out i'm just kidding wishful thinking on that on my part on that okay so let me know remember let me know what your favorite part was of the tour whether it was a specific colorway whether it was a specific dyer or company or some part of the store just let me know that's that is commenting on what your favorite part is on mondays and wednesdays is your entry into any future surprise giveaway that there may be. Now, I said I was going to wait until the end to kind of clue you in on something. I told you guys how Four Pearls has sent me something, I think, amazing for the next surprise giveaway I do. Well, as I mentioned, I went on my sixth local yarn shop tour this past Saturday, and oh my God. But anyway the owner of the store is wonderful also and she was willing to donate something she was more than willing to donate something for one the next giveaway after that 
And let me tell you, it's another fabulous giveaway. I mean, fabulous giveaway. Just saying. I'm telling you, you guys are want you guys are going to want to make sure to watch every Monday and Wednesday video in their entirety and let me know what your favorite thing is in those videos to enter any future surprise giveaway there may be. Just saying. Okay, on to let's talk alpaca. Now, I don't think this is going to be quite as long as some of the other uh, Let's Talks, but we shall see what ends up happening, right? Again, I have my notes, so I'm going to be reading primarily, but I will try. I really need to get a teleprompter, you know? Anyway, okay. Side note. Please, I'm not asking for a tele. Please, no, nobody send me one. I'm just... I think out loud, that's my problem. I think that's what my problem is. I need to not think out loud because I mean, I'll literally be walking around the house talking my video. Like I'll be ta saying, hello, welcome to my channel, whatever. And, and I'll be talking out what my plans are on the video. And I'm sure Miley's thinking, what the heck is wrong with you? I'll be in the shower talking. I'll be walking around talking. I'll be outside talking. I mean, I'm always practicing on what it is I'm gonna say and stuff like that. And then I end up messing it up anyway. So <laughs> why do I do it? I don't know, but I do. So that's my little secret. But um, anyway, how did I get onto that? Okay, let's go. Let's talk. Let's start. Let's talk. Okay. So we are talking about alpaca fiber. And um, as I had mentioned when I did the tour of my local yarn shop several months ago, she, Alicia used to have an alpaca farm. And I think she had, I forget how many alpacas she had, like 12 or 25. Or, I, I don't remember. I know that's a drastic difference, but um, they are so cute. She used to, when we used to do um, a craft show at a local shop, um, she used to bring a couple of the alpaca and the kids used to be able to feed them and stuff like that. They were always undercover, but even though, anyway, uh, so so cute they don't they no longer have the farm and they no longer have the alpaca they they sold the alpaca to a, a friend of theirs um but they are such cute animals they really are so cute and so nice i mean they seem so domesticated which evidently is something that people do with alpacas they get them as animals but anyway okay i'm getting ahead of myself so it is considered the super fiber uh long ago okay this is actually I kind of cut pieces out of this one particular article, so this is their speak, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, uh, long ago alpaca fiber was reserved for royalty. Now I, I read this on multiple sites. Um, so alpaca fiber was reserved for royalty. Today it's sold in several ways. Hand spinners and fiber artists buy raw fleece. Knitters often purchase alpaca yarn. Fiber cooperatives, mills collect alpaca fiber and process it on behalf of the producer. Um, alpacas are shorn without harm every 12 to 18 months. Uh, they are necessarily sheared once a year for their own health to prevent disease and illness that arise when their fleece becomes too long or matted, which I did find that interesting. Uh, so there's actually a need to do it outside of simply wanting to collect the fiber for yarn and fleece, etc. Uh, an adult alpaca might produce, I think it's like seven to 10 pounds of first quality fiber, as well as seven to 10 pounds of second and third quality fiber. Uh, some alpacas already achieve or exceed these levels, so they can even get more from them. Uh, because of its soft texture, alpaca fiber is sometimes compared to cashmere. I found that interesting. Uh, the fiber also has the luster of silk, making, the, making it even more coveted. Alpaca is just as warm as wool, if not warmer, uh, yet it, it's, it's a mere th a third of the weight. So it's a third of the weight of wool. Um, so, so it's lighter, but yet just at least just as warm as wool. Um, and it comes in now, I, I've, I've had I've read multi, many different numbers here, anywhere from 16 to, I think it was like 55, actually no, I think it was like 16 to like 63 natural colors and can be dyed any desired shade. But I think that's between the Huaca 
and the um, Siri alpaca. So there's a, a, multi, a, a wide range of numbers. But for sure, at least 23 to 50 natural colors and can be dyed any desired, uh, any desired chain. Now, they contain no lanolin. So alpaca fiber is also naturally hyperallergenic, which I think is awesome. Oh man, I need to take this phone call. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I hope I'm centered because sometimes my phone, when I go ahead and I take my phone off the tripod and then put it back up, it gets like wonky both this way and like width wise. And from what I can tell on the screen, I think I'm pretty centered but I don't know. So I apologize, but it was my doctor's office and I really needed to take the call. So sorry about that. But you all know I typically don't. I, I actually didn't turn on my do not disturb because I was expecting a call from them. So I do apologize for that, but I had to take the call. Okay, so where was I? Okay, so since they contain no lanolin, uh, alpaca fiber, since alpaca fiber doesn't contain any lanolin, it's also naturally hyperallergenic, which I think is awesome. Uh, most people who are sensitive to wool find that they can wear alpaca without the itching or irritation they feel from wool because alpaca fiber is smooth and doesn't have the lanolin. Excuse me. Additional performance characteristics include stretch, water repellency, and odor reduction, which we know of from other, um, from like merino and stuff that we've gone through now. Oh, and for travelers, clothing made from alpaca is desirable because it is wrinkle resistant. I thought that was kind of cool. I can use that because little secret, I don't iron anything. Nothing. I haven't ironed anything since I think I was like married and I used to iron my ex-husband's um, deputy shirts and, and yeah. Okay, maybe since then I have because that's been like 11 years or something, but seriously, I don't iron anything. The dryer is my friend. Shh. Just saying. Leanne, I hear you. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Same thing with you, Tammy and Adele. I hear you guys. I'm, I'm ignoring the heathen comments that I need to do stuff, but I'm kidding. You guys know I love you guys. Um, okay, anyway. So today's consumer searches for high quality, environmentally sound products made of naturally renewable resources. The alpaca provides fiber just as it has for thousands of years to create colorful garments that are soft to the touch. Uh, classically styled alpaca sweaters and suits can last for generations. Now I'm going to go into some of the qualities of uh, qualities and advantages of alpaca, but I myself have wondered this question. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and, oh, but actually both of these questions. So I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you now, but what is baby alpaca? Because there have been several recent in, in, I, I can't remember if it was the, um, tour I went on this past Saturday or if it was the one before that, but there have been several baby alpaca yarns that I had picked up or found. And I didn't even stop to think to ask the question then, but while I was doing the research, I figured I'll go ahead and figure that out. So the term baby alpaca refers to a type of alpaca fiber that is rare. It does not mean the fiber was taken from a baby or young alpaca. So I know others have, I'm sure others have wondered that if you are familiar with alpaca in any way. Um, it's alpaca is not necessarily as, um, as, common in yarn shops just like bfl um compared to merino but it is i've seen alpaca and baby alpaca more frequently than i have bfl although the tour i went on this past saturday they did have a yarn and i am when i do that tour i'll put it in words that that is the one but because i didn't realize it at the time but they had one that was 100 percent, i think super wash but it was 100 percent bfl so I thought that was kind of cool because that was the first time I had seen BFL in a store that I noticed because I didn't go through and check every hank of yarn in every store. So I, I could very easily have missed it, but I actually saw it this time and I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, okay. And then the other question was, are alpacas used for anything else? Alpacas are used exclusively for either their fleece, which is cut once a year, or for pets. So yes, people do domesticate alpacas. 
because evidently they are very good with kids and they are very um like just laid back animals i thought that was kind of cool but anyway okay alpaca fleece is known for the super fiber for the following qualities um let's see strength uh warmth per weight approximately three times the insulating capacity of sheep's wool so garments are very light and very warm i thought that was kind of interesting they're hyperallergenic uh so allergic reactions are minimal if at all plus their feel it has no lanolin and has a very low prickle factor so it's softer and less irritating there's less shrinkage and it has a superior comfort um and then what they yield as it's as soft and as fine as cashmere and they get seven to ten pounds of fiber yearly from the alpaca versus two to three pounds of the cashmere goat so that's kind of interesting i mean don't you think two to three pounds per uh cashmere goat versus seven to ten pounds on the alpaca that's that's pretty i think impressive uh and the colors in the herd there are 23 in this particular um article that i was reading it was 23 but like i said i've seen up to like 55 and, I, and in one case like 63 i think it was but recognize natural colors which accept both natural plant-based and acid dyes that's good to know also because some wools do not accept certain dyes or they don't as well or they don't strike the same etc uh let's see and then alpaca fleece offers these advantages over synthetic fibers superior breathability that's important wicks away body moisture won't mat or pill just like bfl in its natural state naturally windproof that's cool flame resistant which is awesome it doesn't melt uh, low static electricity doesn't hold debris stain resistant resists acquired odors has a natural sheen like silk and all natural and biodegradable so i thought that was pretty cool and i definitely wanted to share all of that with you um so i know there's a lot of information now i'm going to talk about siri alpaca or surrey sorry not siri surrey alpaca i don't have that much information on it uh, but i'm just gonna go ahead and read this off to you guys but i have recently I think like this past Saturday, maybe it could have even been before that, um, felt a Surrey alpaca Hank. Oh, let me tell you soft. Let me tell you soft. Okay. Anyway, Surrey alpaca fiber is one of the most luxurious and rare fibers in the world. Only 10 to 20% of the U S alpaca population and less in the world. I think it was like 3% in the world and 10 to 20% in the U S are Surrey alpaca. They are known for their silky, lustrous hair, like hair, like fleece. So it's like hair, like fleece. The fiber is more like mohair from Angora goats than sheep's wool. What? That's soft, right? Surrey fiber does not have crimp like the other breed, hu Huakaya, which that is like the most common alpaca. Um, alpa and also alpaca sometimes is less, I mean, alpaca tends to be a little bit less expensive than like, let's say Merino, but it's because with alpaca are primary, there are alpaca in other countries, absolutely. Um, there's Peruvian and, and, several others but alpaca for the most part that you will get is from the u.s so it doesn't have to ship as far it is domestically raised or they are domestically raised and so you've got that um but oh there was another thing that i just had on the tip of my tongue and it's gone just like that okay anyway sorry uh, Surrey fibers, oh, I already said that, um, alpaca fiber in general does not have lanolin, which makes cleaning the fleece as much easier as well as more eco-friendly. There are many ways to enjoy Surrey alpaca fiber from hand spinning, weaving, knitting, needle felting for surface and wet felting. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then Surrey alpaca fiber facts, um, cool, slick handle, put your hand in a bag of Surrey fiber and you'll be surprised. And I did hear that on this, because Surrey um alpaca uh 
fiber or, or their like their fiber or their wool is very is cool to the touch like if you went up to one and you touched it it would be cool to the touch i thought that was kind of cool uh it feels like silk there's no crimp various lock structures like wave and twist pencil pearl curled straight uh creates beautiful woven woven products uh 22 natural colors takes dye beautifully no lanolin like sheep's wool hypoallergenic because there's no lanolin uh, four to seven inches of fiber growth each year. That's a lot if you think about it. I mean, four to seven inches. Yeah, I think that's a lot. Annual shearing, just like regular alpaca. Uh, two to six pounds of fiber harvest per year on average. So a little bit less than the than the um, typical alpaca. And naturally fire retardant. So I definitely wanted to let you know about the Surrey uh, alpaca. And honestly, I wasn't like I was thinking, ah, yeah, right, like it's going to be that much softer. No, I don't know. So why would I assume it wasn't going to be? But I was like, the, the alpaca that I had felt, did I say that right, um, was very soft. And then when I felt the Surrey alpaca, I was like, whoa, I felt a difference. Now, maybe it was in my head because I, I already knew that Surrey alpaca t tends to be soft softer I don't know could be mind over matter but to me it seriously was softer so anyway that's it for today's uh video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed the tour I have to say I love both stashes equally and I cannot wait to hear everybody's favorite part of the tour now remember it's of the tour itself so it could be part of whatever there could be a favorite aspect of the store itself it could be like i said color brand what fiber whatever the case is just let me know what your favorite part was and you guys are amazing i mean you guys are commenting so much i have been loving and i'm responding to all the comments can you believe it I'm actually staying on top of responding to the comments. I'm normally like one video behind, but otherwise I'm staying on top of responding to comments. Yay, actually sticking to my New Year's resolution. <laughs> one of them at least. Okay, so anyway, let me know what your favorite part was. Make sure to comment with that in the comment section below and that will be your entry into any possible future um, giveaway. Remember, we now have a second um giveaway items uh, maybe items uh, with the apostrophe s anyway uh yes being vague and silly but um so i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think and i will see you guys tomorrow night tuesday on my live 9 30 p.m eastern tuesday january 26th i am looking forward to it Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. She's been very good considering she typically barks in front of the window, but she's being very good. Maybe because she wants something tomorrow during the live. <laughs> um, anyway, my mom says hi as always. Thank you all so much for all of your continued thoughts and prayers and hugs and everything. You guys are amazing. Remember for every season there's a reason to crochet and love hugs and prayers to you. Extra prayers for anybody who needs it and just... Thank you all so much for all of your continued support. You guys are seriously amazing. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. And today we have several things to go through, just like we do every Monday this now. Blah. <laughs>